It's, I like to hoot. I'll hoot. Yeah, he gets me frothed up. And yeah. That was sick. Yeah, you know. But that's what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I, obviously, as a dad, want to protect my son. <laughs> and we're going to surf this wave that is dangerous. So I want to give him all of those opportunities um, with my knowledge of how to get through situations and also the safety part of it and I get to sit there and watch him on a ski which is one of the best safety tools out there so it, it's a thing of protecting my son but also sharing in something we're both super passionate about you know and that's the thing where I'm trying not to push him like I don't you gotta go you know you gotta go deeper you know like it's not it's that more like, it's more of a guidance thing for me like I, I kind of try and do my best to ask questions and observe the lineup and that's my favorite thing about it too is that he doesn't want to push me on it. He's like, go, go 20 footer or whatever, you know. That's the other part for me too is that I definitely want to be there to watch him. It makes me feel most comfortable. And it's nice to know that we, each other, are 100% going to be eyes on, like if he's in the lineup, I'm 100% eyes on him the whole entire time, no matter what. And I think that's, I mean, I know he is doing the same for me when I'm in the lineup. So that's kind of a definitely a comforting feeling, you know. I mean, I already have a lot of trust in him, obviously he's my father, so I wouldn't really want to have anyone else watching over me, so it's pretty cool that we're able to do that together, I think. Looking at the wave that I received this winter, um, it was one of the best waves I've ever even been a part of, you know, and seen. It was definitely an amazing season, so many good waves went down, and but this year is like the first year where I really was like pushing it, giving it a go and really feeling the bowl and learning it a lot more. I don't want to surf the left, so I think that my mindset and all the kind of younger generation's mindset is kind of a little different and we're trying to read the wave differently and I think that's a cool thing to try and push it a little bit more, you know, try and find different entries, different lines to take and um, I think that's kind of what's happening right now. Um, I'm not looking at the lefts. <laughs> For me to sit in the channel and watch it, and, and actually I was, my iPhone was out and I was filming it all, so um, of course I was super psyched. It's a little nerve wracking too because you're seeing something that's never been done before and, and they're done by, by you know, young guys that probably haven't experienced the you know, wrath of what Mavs can do. And so it's a little, like I said, it's a little nervousness to it. But watching them, and I guess in the moment, um, you know, there's this sense that that it's going to be all right because they were these guys are good man they, they figured it out they know where to be now and they're surfing good and they're putting themselves in great positions so it's it's awesome to watch raising john surfing has been a part of our lives born into a surfing family that is basically <laughs> steers their life around every moment to find offshore winds and swell <laughs> so you know, the, the part of the spirituality to it is that it, it, it's our place that we've always found that solace, you know, found that that place of higher power, right? It, it's really where um, we get connected with that spirituality inside of ourselves. The ocean is a place that I am feel the most comfortable um, and especially a place like Mavericks, right? It's, it's our Everest, it's our, you know, seven one third of the world in surfing.